afternoon everybody welcome so i have tried to make it as clear as possible on my facebook page and so on but every day this week there is a quiz that you need to definitely have in front of you preferably have had a go at in advance because um as you'll see there's about 11 10 11 questions each day so i can't go through them like every single one fully um because we'd be here for like an hour so if you haven't got this it is on my page just run quickly print it off come back um the first few few questions are quite easy um so while i get all this set up i will do some shout outs we've got sam and we've got rufus and ava hello we have got Rosie and Harry. Hi Rosie and Harry. We've got Santino. Welcome. We've got Ollie in South Africa. Hi. Okay. We have got Darcy in Plymouth. We've got Logan. Hi. We've got Zach and Henry. Got Zach and Kent. Got Keris, hi, Robbie, hello. Okay. Brilliant. We've got Hector and Hans. We've got Cara and Piers. We've got Leo. We've got Jeff in Scotland. Hello. Okay, so all about Roald Dahl. Good old Roald Dahl. Love Roald Dahl. And I think what's I think Roald Dahl, if I can remember, is the only author this week whose works is sort of older than me, if you know what I mean, because obviously David Walliams is is quite a relatively still a new author. You know what, actually, I tell a lie, Julia Donaldson, I remember reading some of her books when I was little, Harry McClary, I read when I was young, so, and then um, J.K. Rowling, obviously, I think I was about, well, I can't remember how old I was, um, I was definitely, like, teens i think when harry potter came out and rachel bright i know a lot of you don't know rachel bright i know her because two of my favorite books that i read my daughter is by rachel bright one of them i know off by heart so hopefully if you don't know who rachel bright is i might introduce you to a new author this week so i'm going to be doing problems around rolled out and i'm going to attempt to dress up for each lesson but you might be thinking steph you're wearing something that I've seen previously in last night. This is not a very good effort from dressing up for Roald Dahl. But I'll have you know that I am the big, friendly giant. Because <laughs> I am. I'm six foot one. I'm quite, I'm very tall. I'm very tall, I'd say. Especially for a lady, a girl, a woman. So I am. And I'm very friendly. So I'm the big, friendly giant piece. You have to see. Um, I've, I've been given a fantastic idea for tomorrow's. So anyway less waffling so if you if you haven't got this try and grab it if not keep what you know now for this week so i'm going to put the david williams one for tomorrow up on the page this afternoon i just need to finish it and all the rest are nearly ready so question one is matilda decided to teach miss mrs trunchbull a lesson of course matilda did that mrs trunchbull started with 12 pens but could only find four when she sat down. How many did Matilda hide? So she started with four, 12 pens, but then when she sat down, there was only four left. How many did Matilda hide? So she started with 12, What? so she must have taken some away. So how many did Matilda hide? How many did she sneak away from four to make 12? So we need to do subtraction, okay? So what's the difference between 12 and four? Okay, so 12, 11, 10, nine, eight. So the answer, I'm gonna put it up here, the answer to question one is eight. She ate, she ate, she hid eight pens. I've already started. Okay, well done if you got that. Hey, well done, good. Number two. Someone said the Twits is their favourite Roald Dahl book. I haven't read the Twits, actually. I think it's one of the only few Twits that is, is the one I haven't read. Mrs Twit is combing Mr Twit's beard. She finds two fingernails. 
Right, so we're going to make some notes. Find two fingernails, five cornflakes, and three slugs. How many things did she find all together? And when we do an all together question, that means we add. So two plus five plus three is ten. That's the answer to question two. It is ten. Oh, fingernails. Oh. <laughs> Question three, as your trot eats some lettuce, they come in boxes of three, right? So we get immediately box of three. One, two, just, I always like putting word problems in picture form. If you watch my slide, you know this. How many lettuces did he eat if he ate five boxes? Okay, so it comes in boxes of three. So three, three, and three. Okay, so in each box is three lettuces. So how many lettuces does he eat if he ate five boxes? So there's another box. And there's another box. So you can either add or you can times three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So the answer to question three is fifteen. Let's see. Well done, everybody. Fantastic. If you do like this quiz and you haven't done the Maths Live quiz before, there are old ones that are on um, YouTube and the papers are all attached like this. So, number four. George's grandma is three times older than George's dad. Okay, so George's dad. And if you times that by three is grandma. So it's George's dad, so George's grandma is three times older than George's dad. You have to be careful. You don't want to put that the grandma is three times, the dad is three times older than the grandma. That wouldn't work. Okay. George's dad is 32 years older than George. So George times by 32 is George's dad. So this, you can see how I'm writing it out. George is eight years old. How old is grandma? Right, so we know George is eight. So we now need to do 32 times by eight. Okay, so two eights are 16. Three eights are 24, plus the one, 25. Old, 32. You did not see me do that. <gasps> That's supposed to be one of the easy questions. Wait till we get onto the back. I bet you are laughing at me now, aren't you? <laughs> 40. That's what happens when you don't read the question. Right. And George's grandma is... I read the times a bit wrong. So, if George's dad plus 32, that is 40. And grandma is three times older. So now we do need to do 40 times by three. 120. Grandma is 120 years old. <laughs> I was Oh, I'm, sad. I'm glad someone wasn't the only one. Whew. Because I say, it just, you can tell when a problem goes wrong. Okay, so 120 years old. That's old. That's really old. Okay, question five. The giant peach needs to float 547 kilometers across the shark infested ocean. I love James and the giant peach. It's the description of the peach. It just makes my mouth water. The peach has now floated 432 kilometers. How much further do they need to go? If we know how far they need to get and how far they've gone already, to find out how much further, we need to do a subtraction question. So that is five, one, one. So 115 kilometers. Let's have a look. Well done, well done. Okay. 
Number six, Augustus, Gl Augustus Gloop is trying to find the golden tickets. He buys a box of 40 chocolate bars. If he eats five bars a day, how many days will it take him to eat a whole box? So he's got a box. And there's 40 chocolate bars in the box. And he eats five a day. We should eat five fruit and veg a day, not five chocolate bars a day. So how many days would it take him? How many lots of five do we need until we get to 40? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So eight. It would take him eight days. Let's see. Well done. Super. So what I'm doing is just look, I've got the feed just continuing. So sorry if I'm not doing shout outs, obviously. Having a look. Right, Mr. Fox. Another, actually, you know what? another one I haven't read. I haven't read um, Mr. Fox either. Mr. Fox is fam. And oh, by the way, when we're talking about Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the first film, the best. Mr. Fox and his Fox family were trapped inside their hole from 11.30 p.m. On the Friday until 2.45 p.m. on the Tuesday. And it says how many days, hours and minutes were they trapped for? So this is a bit, we have, this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. So you could, there's different ways you can do this but we're looking for really good time jumps, okay? So what I'm going to do is I need to get on. So if I add, I know I need to add 15 minutes. So I know that's the minute because I'm gonna take this to 11.45. Okay, there's different ways of doing it, but because it's ending in 45 there, that's what I'm going to do. Right, I need to get close to Tuesday. So if I add one day, that'll take me to Monday. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Saturday. If I add another day, that'll take me to Sunday. If I add another day, that'll take me to Monday. But that's Monday at 11.45 p.m. I can't go to Tuesday at 11.45 p.m. because that's gone past this time. So I've got 15 minutes, one day, two day, three days. So I know at the moment it's three days, something hours, and 15 minutes. So let's count up how many hours we need to go. So 11.45. Now, two, so 11.45, 12.45, 1.45, 2.45, 3, but it's p.m., remember, so you need to keep going. What we could do is you could actually just go to zero. If you make that into the 24-hour clock, that's 14. So you know you only have to add, so 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So how many was that? Let's see what people say. Ooh, a bit bigger than three hours. Let's have a look. Yes, it is 15 hours, watch. So, 45. 12, 45, 1, two okay you have to make sure you're going to the p.m and not sticking at the a.m so it's 15 hours it's a hard question that you see the questions have jumped up from sort of key stage one and low key stage two and these questions are supposed to get progressively harder and you'll learn from this i know it's like a sort of a bit of fun but i obviously want to make sure we're learning about this Okay. Mr. Wonka's new scrumptiddly <laughs> you tell him not practice this. Mr. Wonka's new scrumptiddlyumptious machine 
can produce 347 bars every 10 minutes. Right, 347 bars every 10 minutes. Okay, and it asks us how many can it make in an hour? Right, 10 minutes to an hour. How many lots of 10 minutes are in one hour? Six, okay? So if it's 347 bars every 10 minutes and we want it into an hour, we need to times this answer by six because it's, like I say, it's, ten, it's for every 10 minutes. So 347 in the first 10 minutes and then another 347 to make 20 minutes and then another 347 to make 30 minutes and you have to do that six times, okay? So we need multiplication. Seven sixes, 42, carry four. Six fours, 24, add the four, 28. Three sixes, 18, 19, 20. So question eight is 2,082 chocolate bars. Let's have a look. Excellent, well done. Okay, just looking, let's take a, have a breather, have a breather. Good. That's a lot, it is a lot of chocolate. Okay, I know so you're not sure about the time. Okay, if you want to drop me a message or you want me to explain it again um, in like a written form, just let me know. If you just look at the question, try and do the time jumps, that should hopefully help. You're not, to be able, you're not supposed to be able to do that question mentally. If you draw the time that we're starting on and draw the time you're ending on, and gradually look across like that. That's the e that's not the easiest way, the best, the most efficient way to do it. Okay, right. Last three questions. But this one, question nine, even I I made a mistake on it. Oh, actually, I, of course, you know, guys, I made a mistake. But I misread this when I was doing this in practice. So Mr. Twit locked the whole Mugglewump family in a small rectangular cage. The cage had longer sides that measured 120 centimetres okay, and shorter sides that measured 75 centimetres. So there's the cage. So this is the longer side and this is the shorter side. We can see that it's a rectangle. And it asks us what the area of the cages, so we know we have to do length times width to find the area, but, but what unit of measurement does it ask us in the question to have in our answer? Meters, okay, meters. So you can't, I that's the bit I didn't read properly when I did it, you can't do this times this because you'll get an answer, not only is far too big, but an answer that's very tricky to bring it backwards to meters, okay? So this is what you should do, okay? First of all, we need to convert these two units of measurement into meters, okay? So 75 centimeters, well, that's not even the whole meter, a hundred, there's a hundred and cent, a hundred centimetres equals one metre, okay? So 75 is 0 0.75 metres, okay? 120 centimetres is 1.2 metres, okay? Now what we need to do is multiply these together. We still need to find the area. We still still need to multiply length times width. 
But you'll have, if you've been doing that same last night, you'll find you'll remember there was a lesson I did. It's very, very difficult to multiply two decimals to each other. Okay, really, really tricky. So this is what you should do. Now I'm actually going to give you time to have a go at this. Because no matter how many times you write it, if you do this written method, it's almost impossible in a key stage two perspective to get this answer. So what you should do, we are doing 0.75 times by 1.2, but we're going to break it up. Okay. Instead of doing this, we're going to do 0.75 times by the 1 first. 0.75 times by the 1. Okay. What's not, so you tell me, what's 0.75 times by 1? What is it? Who can tell me first? What's 0 0.75 times by 1? Don't overthink it. Okay. Nee, don't overthink it, don't overthink it. Okay. You're doing one lot of 0 0.75. So one lot of 0 0.75 is 0 0.75. So one times 0 0.75. And why, where am I getting the one from? Here. I'm ignoring the 0 0.2 to start. I'm doing 0 0.75 times by 1, which is 0 0.75. Okay. Then what I need to do is times it by the 0 0.2. So 0 0.75 times by 0 0.2 but again times in decimals is horrid so this is what I want you to do instead of timesing it by 0 0.2 I would like you to do this calculation what I've done is made 0 0.2 I've done 0 0.2 times by 10 to make it into two. I made it into a nicer number by timesing it by 10. Okay, that's, it's much nicer to times 0 0.75 by two than it is 0 0.2. Have a go at that calculation. Okay, and then some people have like putting what they think is the answer, but you'll see. Right, 0 0.75 times by 2. 2 fives are 10. 2 sevens are 14 plus the 1, 15. Good. It's 1.5. But in order to get 0 0.2 to make it into 2, we had to times it by 10. So to balance it out, we need to divide our answer by 10. Okay, and 1.5 divided by 10 is 0 0.15. So 0 0.75 is 1.05. So the answer, when you now add these two numbers together, is 0 0.9 meters squared. So it's 900 centimeters, okay? I know that's tricky. I'm sorry, I didn't expect that question. I didn't read it properly, okay? So when I plonk that question in, 
I was thinking, why is this a three star? Why is this a very, very upper key save two question? And then I misread it, okay? So go with me on that. It's just very hard to do the multiply bit. There is a lesson on it where I multiply decimals, but don't worry if you got that wrong because I got it wrong the first time I did it. It shows. Let's have a look. You're saying, yeah, you're all freaking out now. It's fine, okay? Yeah, it's 0 0.9 meters squared it's less it's 900 centimeters squared if you think about um because think 1.2 and 0 point that's less than a whole meter so if it was going to be nine to nine meters squared still think about nine meters by nine meters that's really really long that's really really big in itself okay and then 90 is huge okay so that's why 900 centimeters so not 0.9 meters squared. And I know that's a tricky answer. So if you want to actually mark yourselves out of 10, I just do that. I just forget about that question. Give yourself a mark out of 10. <laughs> right. Roll down. Sold 76,000 books in the UK last year. I was asked if that was actually a fact. I wouldn't be surprised if it, it was. Okay? Because he sells a lot. Okay? And we've got an, understandably, his books are amazing. So he sold 76,000 books. Okay? And 75% were bought by children. Yeah? Probably in a bookshop or online or, you know, um, so maybe a book fair at school. So 75% were bought by children. How many books is that? Right, so we need to find 75% of 76,000. You might be thinking, oh, percentages. Right, obviously I'm going to do some percentage of numbers questions this week. This one's not as bad as you think, though. Because 70, if you find 75% of something, that's actually three quarters. So you could actually leave the percentage behind and instead find three quarters of 76,000. How do you find three quarters of something? Well, if you find one quarter and then times that by three, that'll get you three quarters. Or you could do 75%, but I think it's easy doing this. So we're gonna find, we're gonna do 76,000 divided by four, and that will get us one quarter. So, can you fit in seven how many fours can you fit into seven one how many is left over three oops in the wrong place then <laughs> there how many fours can you fit into 36 one four is four two fours are eight three fours are twelve four fours are sixteen five fours twenty six fours twenty four seven fours are twenty eight eight fours are thirty two nine fours are thirty six And then zero, 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 19,000. So 19,000 is one quarter. But what you want, three quarters. So we need to times this by three. But the best way to do it is do 19 times by three and then add your three zeros on. So nine threes are 27. One three is three plus the two, five. So the answer is 57 thousand question 10 57 thousand books I'm just checking you can actually still see my answer's just just and the last question okay I got it yes good now Quick note, because I had a question about this um, when someone inboxed me saying, can I just check question 11? When it talks about a year, it's not a leap year. Okay, <laughs> there's, if you were, if you're the person who wasn't sure, she said you had two answers, it's not a leap year. So the BFG, me, <laughs> I'm joking, love the BFG. The BFG caught four children's dreams in jars every night. So every night, 
four dreams. Okay, and the first part of the question says, how many dreams is that in total? Okay, for a whole year. So he does it for a whole year, four dreams every night, how much is that in total? Well, one year, a normal year, that's not a leap year, is 365 days. So we need to have known that, 365. I know technically it's 365 and a quarter days, but we're sticking to the primary school maths, okay? Clever clocks. 365, four dreams a night, so we need to times this by four. Five fours are 20. Six fours are 24, plus the two, 26. Three fours are 12. 30, 40. So he catches 1,460 dreams a year. And it says he stacks the jars and the shelves and he, need, he can get nine on each shelf. So he can get nine dream jars on each shelf. How many shelves does he need per year? So we need to divide our answer by nine. So, how many nines can you fit into one? Zero. Carry the one. How many nines can you fit into 14? Well, one nine is nine, two nines are 18. So it's just one. What's the remainder? Five. So how many nines can you fit into 56? Well, one nine is nine, two nines are 18, three nines are 27, four nines are 36, five nines are 45, six nines are 54. Four, we want 56, so there's a remainder of two. How many nines can you fit into 20? Two, but there's still a remainder of two. Okay, so there's still two jars left over and they still need to be put on a shelf. So don't stick with the answer 162 because you can't just throw the other jars away. They still need a shelf. So the answer to question 11 is 163 jars. Even though that shelf, that last shelf, isn't going to be full, the jars need to still go up there, okay? Well done today, okay? I know that was, I know there was a couple of tricky ones that flew up. I know Steph made the mistake right at the beginning, but it wouldn't be a maths live lesson without a Steph mistake. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. There is a challenge question that's going to go up uh, on the page to do with Roald Dahl after this. I did my research this morning. I watched Gangster Granny this morning for the first time ever. All the rest of the questions this week are going to... I stole these from a well-known educational website, these questions. But all the others this week are made up by me. So if I do them wrong, it's my fault. So I've been, I watched Gangster Granny this morning. I've made some questions. I'll put them on the page later. I've got a wealth of Julia Donaldson books at home with my daughter being two and a bit. So again, I've made all the questions up using all the different stories. Um, I read, I, well, I skim read Harry, uh, Goblet of Fire and another Harry Potter book the other night. So I've again, made it all myself. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this week. And that's all I've got. So well done for today and try the challenge question and I'll see you tomorrow for maths about David Williams. See you later. Bye-bye.